Namaste and welcome to day 6 of the Anxiety Relief Series. Like always, we will work on another chakra today and this time it is the third eye, right here in the middle of the eyebrows. It is also called the Agya Chakra or Ajna Chakra and it is responsible for your pituitary gland, pineal gland located right in the center of your head. This chakra is the most powerful chakra when it comes to opening new values, new opportunities in your life, clearing your vision. It is that chakra that is responsible for lifting up the veil that has been holding your vision in life. Most of the people keep working on this chakra, but usually it's important to balance the lower chakras before you get to this. Once you have cleared this chakra, you can tap into your intuitive and psychic powers and also see in the future things that are good for you will start unfolding on its own. This chakra is largely connected to your anxiety because it is through this that you experience fear of death, fear of non-completion and you have the fear of change and movement in your life. So if you feel that you have not been able to change your methods and ways easily and effortlessly, then this can be the chakra responsible for it. If you fear the conclusion of any event or how things are going to unfold, it is only this chakra that is responsible for it. If you are someone who has constant fear of death or have a fear within yourself where you do not know what exactly it is, but it triggers your anxiety that is usually in this chakra. So working on this chakra is a constant work. It is not just a one day thing that you will do today and forget about it for the rest of your life. We have to keep tuning all our chakras regularly. I suggest one of the days of the week like a Sunday or any day when you don't have to work, you watch these videos all over again and work on every single chakra starting from the base and working your way up to each chakra. So for today's uh, chakra meditation, we will again take a totem, a crystal or rock and we will place it in our right hand and ask it to take away any energy that is not serving us, anything that is clouding our judgment, clouding our visions, not letting us see our true nature, our true reality of the universe we are going to release it. We do not have to dig deep into every issue right now. For now, we will just let the energy work on its own. It is not compulsory that you work on this chakra entirely today and clear it out, but do as much as possible. Just create a state of allowance and no resistance. So just let yourself release as much as you can and it will automatically start helping you. This and every chakra of the body wants to support every human being. So when you are trying to work on any healing of yours, your body responds. Your body wants to heal you. It is not that your body will resist. Your body resists to activities or things or substances that does not suit it. Yet we take all those substances and things. But things like these, your body is really ready to take it and help you go further. However, these things, like any exercise, require discipline and repetition. So I hope you all can benefit from it. And uh, let's begin with this meditation. Make sure you're seated in a comfortable position. You can uh, sit or uh, lie down or even sit on a chair with your legs hanging loose. Take your totem in your hand, get your back straight, try to keep your spine straight. Close your eyes, try not to use this meditation while driving or operating heavy machinery. Ask everyone not to disturb you for the next few minutes and get ready to go in a great comfortable calm state. Allow me to guide you and we will begin with our breath work, taking a deep breath in, drawing it to the base of the spine, hold it and now exhaling from the mouth, relaxing your body more and more, releasing any heaviness over here. Draw in another deep breath in, hold it 
and exhale and relax and release the muscles in your shoulders, your back, your legs. Take another deep breath in and hold it and circulate this energy in the whole body. Letting it reach every corner of your body. Illuminating every corner of your body. And exhale. Relaxing and releasing any heaviness stored anywhere in the body. Begin by thanking this room where you're seated. Thanking your senses so that you can hear this meditation today and work towards your well-being. Thank the totem that you're holding in your hand which is ready to take all the energy that is no longer serving you and store it within its memory so you can now release it for good. Thank the universal assistance that you're receiving from the energy around you to help work on things that seem bigger than you before this moment. Let a gentle smile come on your face and now ease your muscles beginning with your right foot right ankle, right leg, right thigh and knee, observing any heaviness, tightness in this area and as you exhale relax and gently let it fall onto the surface where you're resting. Take your attention to your left foot, left leg, thigh, the blood flow, the cells and tissues in this area and as you exhale let it get down and relax and gently let it go loose and limp going down and down and down resting on the surface where you're resting now take your attention to your hip your lower abdomen all the organs below your navel let your breath work its way to this region clearing away any heaviness and as you exhale relax and release these muscles letting them calm down from all the heavy work they had been doing all day and days before today give your love to these organs Take your attention to your upper abdomen, your liver, kidney, stomach, spleen and give your gratitude to these organs for functioning perfectly with energy to live a wonderful life and relax and release the muscles here. Observe how your breath is getting deeper and deeper, longer every time. Take your attention to your chest, your rib cage, your heart and the muscles, arteries around the heart. Take your attention to your shoulder blades and your back. Melt away any heaviness, any soreness, any tightness in this area. Thank it for taking care of your most important organ, your heart, your lungs because of which you are alive. Breathing in a wonderful white light, expanding your chest for newer options, newer opportunities, for new life, new space, new healing. Take your attention to your left arm, left bicep, wrist, palms. Observe the blood flow and energy flow in this area and as you exhale let it drop down onto your lap letting it loose observe the power of gravity feel how gravity is pulling you down and down and down yet maintaining a certain balance in your body at all times take your attention now to your right arm bicep wrist, 
palms and the totem that you're holding in the middle of your palm how does it feel does it feel heavy any energy that comes into this totem will not be cleared or released out of it any energy that is drawn by this totem will stay locked inside of it until your healing is complete and you release it to the universe for its recycling see the totem becoming active and absorbing any energy that is no longer serving you coming out from every corner of your body all the body parts rushing and gushing into this totem that you're holding in your right hand easily and effortlessly focus on your throat your neck relaxing the muscles at the back and front of your neck relaxing your vocal cords from speaking unclench your jaw relax the muscles around your face creating a new space for creation and healing in your face brightening it up from within so that everybody can see your radiance your true inner glow relaxing your ears and the muscles around it allowing only wonderful thoughts and music to reach your ears letting go of the rest without any resistance now take your attention to the top of your head and observe a wonderful white energy working up growing up on the top of your head coming down onto your forehead and your eyes clearing any mist or fog in your vision in your third eye on your forehead in front of your brain slowly see it part away slide away so even when your eyes are shut you are able to see clearly from your inner eyes understand better with your clearer perspective and gain a vision unaffected by external factors and external lies let your eyes shut deeper and now turn the eyeballs towards your third eye right between your eyebrows take your attention to the tip of your nose observe the air that is going in your nose and see that this air is now traveling to your brain circulating in your head creating more space and clarity organizing all the thoughts clearly putting them aside where it needs to be and feel the exact center in your skull right in your brain and try to draw the breath into that center your third eye your agya chakra is indigo in color a dark blue in color and it governs your vision your insights your intuition and your interpretation of the maya around you the veil of the world usually clouds our thoughts our judgments breathe into the seria filling it with a wonderful indigo light ready to let go of all the beliefs of others that have been holding you back and all the beliefs that you have been carrying on as your truth let go of this veil to know who you truly are clearing a new space new energy for all new changes that need to occur and now as we continue breathing into this chakra we will introduce a mantra a heem chant it seven times or more if you want to even after this meditation but 
always for a minimum of seven times. With every chant, allow this chakra to become more clearer, releasing more and more memories that would gush into your head while we are chanting it. Let them get released and be absorbed in your totem. Drawing in a deep breath, ready to chant. Ahim. 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 And relax. Observe a white bubble of energy surrounding your body, enveloping you with its brightness, its peace. Feel your cells and tissues, how quiet they have become. Feel the energy in your third eye pulsating, vibrating. Any sensation in this chakra should make you more humble. This chakra allows you to see everybody in their truest form, irrespective of the harm they have done to you. It allows you to see the greatness in others, but it also allows you to see the greatness of yourself, the greatness with which you were born, the greatness that you experienced about yourself when you were in the womb of your mother, the greatness for which you have taken birth and also it lets you see the purpose that you are here to accomplish. Keep breathing into your third eye, into the skull, clearing more energies in this area, creating more space, more better organizing ability of organizing your thoughts, Allow yourself to believe that we are here eternally. There is no end. There is no end to a being. There is more to every being than their work, their family, their money. There is more to that greatness that a human possesses because there is a connection with the source that has brought you here. When you are clearing this chakra of yours, you are in tune with your greatest self, you are in tune with your spiritual self. 
demystifying any thoughts, any lies that you have been told about your limitations that are caging you in the world, allowing you to free yourself from any negative projections you had been creating in your life, any manifestations brought out from the place of fear or doubt. Open this chakra entirely to let a wonderful white light burst through it, clearing the path entirely so that you can be in harmony with your truest self, your highest self. And now, introducing our affirmations. I am connected to myself. I am connected to my higher self. I accept my lower self. I accept and address all of my fears, for there is nothing so great that I need to worry about. I accept the change life brings, and change benefits every being, for being the same makes one stale. It disrupts the flow of the universe. So I accept my place in that change. I am worthy. I am worthy. I am worthy of being treated wonderfully by all beings living and non-living around me. I see the truth of myself and the truth of others. I see the true energies of every being hidden behind many veils that all have been wearing. I focus on the attributes of others that I wish to activate when they are dealing with me. I always focus on the best of others to bring out their best when they interact with me. And I bring out the same. I operate from my higher self and now say to yourself, I am powerful, I accept myself and love myself in all that I am. I am grateful for being who I am and relish this feeling. I trust in the unfolding of every event every interaction because when I am tapped into my energy I can transform any situation in my favor. Storing this energy within you let a gentle smile come on your face energizing yourself with today's meditation remembering all of this when you go back to your life I will slowly count from 5 to 1 and we will bring this energy back into our physical world. 5. More energized, charged, feeling the clarity of thought in your third eye. 4. Feeling balanced, in tune with all your chakras from base till here. 3. Breathing deeply into your third eye and in every part of your body. Two, opening up new wonderful opportunities, leaving behind anything that is no longer serving you more and more every day. And slowly coming back up, one, eyes open, wide awake. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. You can take this totem and put it by your bedside now and check back for the last day's practice for our crown chakra after that we will be taking our totem out in the nature disposing it off while letting it recycle our energies you can do this several times in a day take this energy with you i wish you all the best for all your progress take care goodbye